Scott Wiseman said, is it okay that the two American news reporters were shot dead on live TV, yet America still has these gun laws? Now, since we've been on air this series, nine people were shot dead in a church in Charleston, three more killed in a cinema in Lafayette, and this week a reporter and a cameraman were shot and killed live on air in Virginia. And this isn't just a recent occurrence. Between 1966 and 2012, the USA, which has 5% of the world's population, has had 31% of the world's mass public shootings. It's actually happening so often now, we've decided to devote a segment to it, and it's called The United States of Ammunition. <laughs> Now, clearly this is a serious subject and we're not here to mock the victims, so that's not going to happen tonight. It is, however, appropriate to ridicule anyone in America who can live through all of this and say that there is no need for gun control. It's just... I can't believe that there's anyone in America watches all this and goes, no, nah, we should still have guns. I think it's absolute bollocks for people to keep on saying that. You know, to say that this argument yeah. that um, guns don't kill people, people kill people, is absolute shite. Because, to be honest with you, I'd rather take my chances against someone with a spoon than a gun. <laughs> <laughs> and also, as well... And I've sh seen the way you eat. <laughs> <laughs> but as well, this is how bad the gun controls are in America. They won't even budge a little bit. They won't even allow them to stop being, like... You, can't, you can buy guns in supermarkets. So, essentially, in America, you have the same access to Cocoa Pops as what you do to a gun. Yes. It's, yeah. just, it's absolutely yeah, ridiculous. I, we're all thinking it. Load the guns with Cocoa Pops. <laughs> And the thing is, it's always the same argument from Americans. When you, when you talk about gun control, there's all people who go, no, no, it's in our Constitution. Our right to bear arms is in the Constitution. You can't change the Constitution. Ah, if only there was some way of amending the Constitution. Like with, I don't know, some kind of amendment. <laughs> <laughs> like the 33 amendments that have been made to the US Constitution since its inception, including the abolition of slavery. Even the right to bear arms is an amendment. It's the Second Amendment. Are you seriously saying with a straight face, you can't change a change? Because according to history, you can. The 18th Amendment introduced the prohibition of alcohol in 1917 and was repealed by the 21st Amendment in 1933. So, America, you are quite happy to change an amendment if it means you can down a couple of buds with the guys after the game, but when it comes to the highest amount of gun deaths per capita of any country in the Western world, you're just happy to let that one fly, are you? You're going to let that one go. I think if it, the thing is, just because it was right, just because you behaved like that then, times change. Yeah. People, you know, when I was 13, I'd go out with wet look hair gel and link, covered in Lynx Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that now. I'm, no offence, Alex, but I'm not doing that now. Uh, the, the joke's on you, cos this is actually dupe I'm wearing. <laughs> Fox News this week called the lo uh, a lone gunman on a train from Amsterdam to Paris a wake-up call for America. How is that a wake-up call but two reporters shot dead on live TV isn't? Or the plot that was foiled to conduct a mass shooting at a Pokemon conference this week. A Pokemon conference! <laughs> I'll be honest with you, when I heard that there was a plot to attack a Pokemon conference, first of all, I thought it was a load of jihadis who had misunderstood how to get 72 virgins. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that when a terrorist kills people, he's evil, but when an American does it, he's disgruntled? If you shoot two former colleagues live on camera, you're more than disgruntled. Disgruntled is when I go to Starbucks and they write Andy instead of Adam on my latte. <laughs> disgruntled is when I'm wearing a pair of swimming trunks and I pull one drawstring too far and I can't get the other one out. I like how you're... That, what makes you disgruntled at the swimming pool is yeah. a drawstring as opposed to detaching and detaching a leg either side of getting in the pool. <laughs> That's not disgruntled. I'll tell you what, I'm disgruntled because I'm now picturing Adam in a pair of swimming trunks. <laughs> disgruntled Ooh. is how I feel when you tell me you can't use common sense to change a law that was written 250 years ago simply because 15 guys called Jebediah agreed on it. In fact, our poll tonight is what other amendments should be made to the American Constitution? Tweet us at the last leg, use the hashtag AMEND. Gentlemen, any suggestions? I'd get rid of wet look hair gel. <laughs> This isn't wet, look. <laughs> I would say, how about, uh, all citizens have the right to freedom of speech, but if you're outside America, maybe just tone it down a couple of knots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd put that in the Australian Constitution as well. <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> News outlets around the world faced a moral decision, cos when someone is shot live on TV, there's going to be footage, and when the shooter uploads footage of himself as he committed the crime, do you go for the sensational angle or do you go for the tasteful one? 
which angle do you think the sun went with? <laughs> Did they show a family photo of the woman who was tragically killed or a still image of the moment that the bullet actually left the chamber of the gun from the point of view of the gunman? Oh, it well, comes to something when page three is less offensive, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, just as well, on that front page, they yeah. still had the advert for £9.50 holidays. Like, no one's thinking, looking at that and thinking, oh, well, how can we get to Cornwall on a cheat this year? <laughs> they also had a link. They also had a link on the front page if you wanted to go and then watch the video as well. I mean... I... The, the videos no. thing we, on, on news websites is absolutely ridiculous because you can literally, um, you can just click on them and they're yeah. just there for anybody yeah. to see. There's no, there's no age restrictions. Yeah. So, basically, if you're 11, you can go on a news website and look, literally watch the footage of someone being shot but you can't get into the cinema to see Pitch Perfect 2. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's criminal, because it was a delightful film. <laughs> 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 I, th I think that kind of journalism is responsible because if you put a shocking front page on to sell more papers, then the next time something happens, you have to be more shocking to try and sell more papers. So you're actually contributing to the problem as, as you're going through. Oh, it's just it, the problem is that that once you've seen that video, you can never take that back. Like that will always. It's one of those things. Like you, you could just click on it and that's it. You've, you've yeah. seen that. It's like yeah, yeah. These things stick with you. It's like I once walked in on Alex when he was on the toilet. It's still there. <laughs> <laughs> it's burned onto my retina. <laughs> And look, I think part of the problem is America just has such a gun culture that it's... Mm. I mean, they're kind of used to it. I was in the States last year and I stayed with a couple of friends in L.A. And there'd been a freeway shooting that night in which someone had just pulled up next to someone on the freeway, shot them in the head and then just driven off. No-one saw it, no-one knew anything about it. So they'd shut the freeway, it was 11 o'clock at night and these officers were searching the freeway to try and find any shred of evidence. And we're watching it all on live TV. And one of my American friends just sitting there just watched this all and it's like drizzling and there's officers and they're searching, just went... Oh, my God. It's raining in Anaheim? <laughs> How is that the thing that shocked you about that story? In Britain, they'd be going, Oh, my God, look at the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paul Lambert said, Is it OK that Adam Hills will have to have another rant due to America not dealing with its balmy gun law? Look, normally I would rant about this, but there's so much yelling in America at the moment, I don't think anyone's going to hear it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm, in trying to get this message across, I'm going to use the only thing Americans will listen to. If they're not going to amend their constitution, I'm going to amend their national anthem. This is for the people of America. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light There's a hail of gunfire and a cameraman screaming A boy in Walmart with his mum in the aisle Found a gun in her purse, now his mummy is bleeding A nine-year-old kid shot a man in the head as she held an Uzi, now that man is dead. Oh, say can you stand up to the gun lobby's tricks? Just change the laws and stop being dicks. But here's the problem. National action, national action have now vowed they're going to come back bigger and better next time. So, do you know what national action? So will we, with this. <laughs>